I was in Seoul for a year and a half playing at a Canadian bar called the Rocky Mountain Tavern. And uh, it's a great spot, uh, great people running the place. And they took me on. Actually, I showed up one night when they first opened and they said, oh, we're not looking for any live entertainment. Like, Just give me a chance. Come on. And they're like, oh, all right, okay. And uh, I played that night and I played there two nights a week ever since. And I played all the big uh, um, celebrations like Christmas and New Year's and whatnot. And uh, it was a great experience. Uh, it's how I really got my start playing live. Are you going to continue doing the manage your own stuff or you'd like to at some point get your own manager? And um, I was contacted by... Uh, uh, Lazy Angels Incorporated, they're a group out of uh, uh, Coldwater, Ontario, and they're looking into uh, becoming a, a management agency, and uh, I would like to go that route. I'd love to just have to play. I, I wish I could play every night of the week and not have to do all this booking for myself. I would gladly you know, take these guys on as a manager so that I could just focus on the music, focus on what's important, writing and performing. That's what it is to me. If they want to take care of all the paperwork and all the phones and run around and calling, that'd be great. What's next for you? Um, right now, I'm looking at booking a tour into Ontario again. Um, this time I like to include Ottawa. Um, a couple other spots, maybe. There's just some smaller towns. They seem to be a really receptive audience um, in, I guess, Perth, Ontario, and uh, Napanee. I'd like to hit those places. Maybe they have live music. Maybe they don't. I'd just like to get in there and have a have a good time and see see new faces and uh, get some new just get some new fans. Hopefully, I was in Brampton playing at a place called Up Your Kilt, a place I didn't really. I didn't know how the night was going to go, but it worked out great. There was a couple of people that really tuned into what I was doing, and yeah, it was fast, and people were a little uh, taken by it, but people started to get into it, and they were like, all right, and they picked them up, and they were enjoying themselves, and that's what I like to do. I just want to make people enjoy themselves, and that's uh, also helped fashion the way that I, I play, just wanting to bring people up and, and affect people. This song's called... Uh Making Time. It's off uh, my album, Making Time. <laughs> Be the title track. So you left me in the morning, in the air, on that sparkling bird, shining silver like the silver that you wear. The hands that you used to hold me in the neck I used to kiss. I'm dying a little bit each day inside. I can't take much more of this. You're making time, and I'm left behind. Best be known, girl, that I'm moving on. This little you can do that would make me move back home. The words that you had spoken that would make me want to back. Your words are full of poison, girl. You know I'm through with that. You're making time and I'm left behind. You're making time and I'm alone. You're making time and I'm left behind. You're making time and I'm alone. Well, I found a pretty lady who's sweet and cares about my dreams, all my dreams and the stories that we share. She smiles when I kiss her, Lord, she holds me good and tight. And when we go to bed, she's the one that kisses me good night. You're making time, and I'm left behind. You're making time, and I'm alone. You're making time, and I'm left behind. Just for knowing, girl, that I'm moving on This little you can do that would make me move back home The words that you have spoken that would make me want to back Your words are full of poison, girl, you know I'm through with that You're making time and I'm left behind You're making time and I'm alone You're making time and I'm left behind You're making time and I'm alone Oh, you're making time and I'm alone
not going to catch an audience with your words. Maybe you'll catch them the, the way that you attack your heavy-handed strum or your maybe some quick finger style picking or just some fast flat picking or something like that just to maybe turn somebody's head make somebody think, oh, some, something's happening here. I'm going to maybe pay attention for a second. That's kind of that's one of the reasons I, I play fast. And that, it, it also just makes me feel better, makes me, it lifts me up and it's what I want to play. And I hopefully if people hear it, they'll they'll like it too. Hopefully it'll catch on. Maybe people will want to start playing like that or, or listening to that or maybe they just sit there and nod their head or tap their foot. If I can do that, that will carry me through a night. A three hour set can turn to a 15 minute set in my, in my mind. There's a lot of great artists out there that are performing in the East Coast and uh, in Ontario as well. Um, and they're gonna be doing this maybe for the rest of their life, maybe not. What happens is we get audiences that want to be entertained. They come to a bar and they sit themselves down and they're not receptive to what you're doing. It's a two-way street. If you really want to get something out of the show, you got to, as an audience member, you got to listen. You got to take part in the event. It's not a roller coaster ride. You're not going to go to a bar and have a solo act or a band just tear your head off musically. That doesn't happen. There's not that many insane uh, artists out there that can actually do that with uh, their ability. What's got to happen is people have to, got, people have to actively listen to what's happening, what's being played, um, and only then will these artists be able to make a living. People are going to start listening to what they're saying and what they're doing, and not just turning on the radio for background. I w I'd like to see people put, in, put CDs in their CD player and listen to what listen to what is on these albums, listen to what these people are saying. It's an active process, like reading. Uh, that's an active process. You can't just sit there, open the book, and then be entertained. You have to actually read. Music is the same way. You have to listen to it. And I just wish more people would do that, just actively listen to what's going on around them. That would help out the artists, and I think people would quit listening to the radio or quit listening to the, the garbage that they're being fed. Anyway, yeah, that's... <laughs> uh. I came home but the lights weren't on I wondered where could she be Been on the road for a week without sleep So that I could get home to see My little babe you done? Oh, my little babe, where have you gone? She got home at a quarter past three, stumbling in off the street. So drunk that she could barely keep herself on her feet. My little babe, what have you done? I took her in my arms and I told her everything would be okay. But she hates to watch me leave when she knows that I'm going away. My little babe, oh, don't you cry. Oh, my little babe, no, oh, don't you cry. Been on the road, but I'm headed back home. I've got my darling right next to me. I keep her close, cause she loves me so, and it's so plain to see. My little babe, oh, my little babe, oh, my little babe, oh, my little babe.